Hi, I'm Andrew and thanks for clicking through to watch this video. Today I'm on my doorstep on Scarborough's North Bay to look around an area where I remember coming on holiday as a kid. Just over my shoulder behind this building is where the old Atlantis water park used to be and behind that on top of the hill the old Mr Marvel's amusement park. For those of you who don't know, my videos follow me around my two favourite areas, the North York Moors and the Yorkshire Coast. If you enjoy the video do hit the like button and if you've got any memories of the place I'm going to walk around today do share them in the comments below. And to see any of my future videos, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I've really been looking forward to coming and doing this video since I shared a bit of a nostalgic two minute video of Scarborough on Facebook a few weeks ago uh, and that managed to get over 16,000 views. So I know there's an interest in this area, people obviously have lots of great memories. Um, and what I'm going to do first, the, the place I remember most is the Mr Marvel site so I'm going to head up onto the top and just have a look around and see what's there today. Just as I'm passing the Atlantis site you can see on these boards what's planned to be built on this area. This is a really nice area to come and visit. I spend a lot of time with my own family down here. Uh, we've got the beach obviously behind us. We've got Pizone Park over to the left. And then up ahead is the open air theatre and the North Bay Railway. As I'm entering this area, you can see the first signs, the first relics of the old Mr. Marvel site. This part here was the start of a chairlift that took you up into the amusement park and then on to where the Sea Life Centre now is. A lot of the structure is still here and the cables are still in place that carry the chairlifts. I'm about to start the short walk up to where the main site was. As we go up here, you can see the miniature railway down to the left. Beyond that is the famous water chute. It looks very retro, is probably the kindest thing I can say about it. But it has recently been included in the Guardian's top 10 vintage seaside attractions. So, what do I know? Now I'm towards the top, you can see the open air theatre. It's a brilliant asset for Scarborough, this. Well, the whole area, really. Recent acts who've played here include the likes of Little Mix, Britney Spears, Stereophonics, Carly Minogue, Status Quo. And this year down here, there's going to be Lewis Capaldi, Kaiser Chiefs, Lionel Richie, UB40, and the legend that is Brian Adams, who I came to see here a few years ago. Some of those may be getting pushed back until next year due to COVID. I'll provide links below the video to anyone interested in coming to see a gig here. I highly recommend it, always a good night out. So this is where the entrance was to the park. Before I take the camera around, a real quick history of the place. Mr Marvel's, as I know it and most people my age will know it, was opened in 1984, but it did have a decent bit of history before that. Without going too far back, prior to 1969, the site featured tennis courts and a roller skating rink. In 1969, it was then redeveloped into Scarborough Marine Land and Zoo. The main attractions of that included sea lions, dolphins and chimpanzees, and it also had a model village and adventure playground. It was then redeveloped again in 1984 to be what was officially known as Mr Marvel's Showtime USA Fun Park. That saw the animals go and they were replaced by the coasters and the rides that I remember when I think back on how this place used to be. 
Mr. Marvel's closed in 2002 and the chairlifts were dismantled then. I believe most of the site was cleared at that time, but you can still see the remnants down here. There are a few pillars the chairlifts run on. Um, right the way down north, there's people who walk along here regularly, we'll see. And the structure of the buildings that used to kind of run the chairlifts are still here. I'm just heading over towards one now. This particular one I'm coming towards was where the chairlift would have entered this site. Looks as though there's probably been a few fires set, at least a few, over the years. Again, all the cables still intact and running down the hill. So you can see quite clearly here where the cables run out over this area. And then if you can see through the trees, there's a green pillar still stood there. And that'll have been at the top of the hill of where I was stood earlier. Obviously it'll have come up from that little station. I had to look around up to that pillar and then across here. I think some of these fires may have been fairly recent because there's definitely a smell in the air. If you have any particular photos yourself that you want to share, do check out the Facebook page. It'd be great to see some pictures of happier times here, people enjoying this area, rather than how it's looking as I'm walking around today. to the second structure now which again used to drive the chairlifts. This was um, pretty central to the site before it went off further down North Bay straight ahead. As you can see this one's been completely stripped. Oh, it'd be great to see some of your photos of you know what it used to look like so drop any photos you have got in the comments to the link for this video on the facebook page just come across this amongst the trees the first thing i've found that kind of resembles anything from mr marvels now walking up to the very top end and away from the site as i come up here see the sea through the clearing. And again, another structure there, still standing. Again, the cable's intact on that one, to an extent. <laughs> Having had a good walk around, I just thought I'd put the camera down and have a bit of a chat about my thoughts on this area. I just can't understand why it would be left like this for so long. I get that you, you are going to get another marine land and zoo. Um, probably not a fun park or theme park just because of the cost involved to, to sort, the, sort the area out. But living here, I know there's a need for more parks, more playgrounds for families with kids. So some decent green space with a large playground 
get some benches in looking over North Bay. You've got the castle in the background. It would obviously be well used and be a great destination for local families and for tourists and would even help with people's well-being you would expect. And then who knows what might follow that. Why not get the chairlifts installed seasonally? Um, there's enough people to be using them. And then there are suggestions from the past. Why, why not put tennis court here and other facilities that you can actually charge for? Anyway, not why I was making this video, but that's my two pence worth from walking around here today. I'm now going to head back down to the old Atlantis site and see what's happening down there. At the same time Mr Marvel's opened in 1984, this was also redeveloped into a new water park. Its name at that point was Water Scene, and apparently it was home at that point in time to the largest water shoot in the world. This is Water Scene. Scarborough people weren't too sure about the water park when the idea was first mooted, but the man who's behind the scheme is sure they'll take to the American-style leisure like ducks to water. The, the water parks in America are now bigger than the amusement parks, and in Canada they've got them, and Australia there's a couple on the continent. But we're very proud of this one in Scarborough because we've got the longest water slides in the world, so that's a record in itself. These are about three metres longer than anything in, the, in America. What made you think the people of Scarborough would take to it? Well, British holiday resorts have got to uh, modernise their ideas and so forth, and uh, you know we've been a little bit old-fashioned in British holiday resorts, uh, and it's just a feeling. I mean, we're in the entertainment business and leisure business, so you put your, really you put your investment where you think it's going to happen. It then changed hands a few times, and it didn't actually become known as the Atlantis site until 1995 and it continued as Atlantis until it was finally closed in 2007. The first thing that strikes you down here is how good these images actually look, but that artwork has been here in one guise or another for about five years. When I set off this morning, my intention was to do a, a then and now video, but I think it's impossible not to get frustrated when you see the site how it is today. My overarching feeling stood here is that the people of Scarborough and those of you who come and visit have been massively let down by the management of this place. And I get there are plans and announcements as to what to do with the particular area, but the fact is that it hasn't been touched for 19 years. Like what the f As I've said throughout, drop your comments in below. It'd be great to read other suggestions on what you think should be happening down here. If you have enjoyed the video, do hit the like button. And if you want to see more of my videos around the North York Moors and the Yorkshire coast, click on the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification to get a message each time I upload a new video. Below the video, I'll put in some links of my recommendations for accommodation in this area, as well as where to book tickets for the open air theater. I'm off to get myself an ice cream and relax. A massive thank you for watching the video and hopefully I'll see you again soon for the next one.